Okay, so I like to keep my recipes and things that I make cute but really fast. I'm a stay-at-home mom and two kids and animals and everything else. Sometimes I just don't find the time um, to do this, but this is literally a five-minute cookie, and they're amazingly good. Um, what you're going to need is six things. That's it. Um, powdered sugar, and I have this actually themed for Easter, but um, you wouldn't need those if you're not doing it for Easter. But anyway, powdered sugar, some coconut, six ounces of the semi-sweet um, chocolate chips, a stick of butter, and a bowl, and then just a pan to lay, lay them on. And I added um, the mini eggs and some peeps. I got some yellow and pink peeps um, for on top of them because we're going to make them look like bird's nests. And all you're going to do is put your butter in your bowl, melt that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my melted butter, um, one stick. We're going to take two cups, or three cups, I'm sorry, of coconut and two cups of powdered sugar. And we're going to add them in this bowl, and we're going to mix them up. So I'll do that. Okay, so my first three ingredients are in there. I am just stirring this up. Like I said, this is super, super easy, you guys. So I'm going to stir this up. It's hard to do with one hand. And then we're going to melt our chocolate in the microwave, and then we'll add it in here. Okay, I'm going to lightly grease this, and I'm going to leave them sit on here because this has a lid. Um, so you can leave them on wax paper or whatever you guys want to do, but I'm going to leave them dry on this, and then I'm just going to add my lid on top. But I spray it so it doesn't stick. Um, so we have our coconut powdered sugar and butter mixed here, and I melted my chocolate. I'm going to add um, my six ounces of chocolate into our coconut mix, and I'll show you what we do next. This is what our mixture looks like, little bird's nests we're going to make out of them. And um, I did grease my hands because it does get a little bit sticky um, before it dries. So we're just going to set that down. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of try to make it look a little like a nest, something like that. And you want them big enough so the peeps will be able to sit on them. And like I said, you don't have to. This is like an option with the peeps. I just thought it would be cute for um, spring. I do that a lot. So, yeah, just making these. And then after I'm done, I will show you what we do next. Okay, and so far this is what they look like. I'm going to do mine actually in a couple different pans, obviously. This will probably make um, three dozen, two or three dozen, depending on how big you make them. Um, probably the size, probably I would say two dozen, maybe a little bit more, but I'm bad at guessing. But Okay, so we're going to take our mini eggs, and these are the dark chocolate. They didn't have the milk chocolate. I like the milk chocolate a little bit better, but these are the Cadbury mini eggs. Um, these are always my Easter favorite. So I'm going to take them, and I'm going to take three, two or three. I'm going to push those down into into their little nests. Like I said, this is optional. If you don't like them, then you don't have to, but I think it adds really cute, and kids love them. Um, and the chocolate mixture of the coconut actually tastes like a mound. If you guys have ever had it, it's really, really good. Okay. Okay, so that's done. Then I'm going to take my little peeps. My little peeps. If I can open them. Little peeps. I'm going to rip them apart and I'm going to set those on top. Normally set them like at an angle like this to get the front in and once these harden it'll harden so they stick there. Okay. 
Okay, so that is my five minute easy cookie. They're super cute and really, really good. Um, if you guys have any other questions, definitely just ask and hopefully you try them. And thanks for watching.